I know, I know. You're probably reading the title of this video and you're wondering what in the world are you doing now? Well, let me give you a little backstory. If you're like me, whenever you were growing up, you probably saw this show called Survivor Man with Les Stroud. And what he would do is he would go to these remote locations with nothing but a few survival items and his own camera gear. And he would survive for five to seven days and he'd film the whole thing himself with nothing but what he could find in these few survival items that he brought with him. And in one of these episodes, he brought a few things, but one of the things he brought was a handful of corn chips. And I'll tell you why he did this. He brought them as a fire starter because if you look at the ingredients on most chips, you can see right there, corn oil. And almost all chips have some type of oil in the ingredients. And that makes a perfect fire starter. And as you can see here, they work pretty good. If you take a corn chip and just light it on fire, they will hold a flame and they will hold a flame really good. So in today's video, I have a large variety of chips and I'm gonna be running two tests. I wanna know which one catches a flame the easiest and I wanna know which one burns the hottest. So in today's video, we're gonna find out which brand of chips make the best fire starter. Let's get started. And these are the eight brands of chips we're going to be using. We're going to be using the regular Fritos, Chili Cheese Fritos, regular Classic Lay's Funyuns, Lay's Barbecue, Ruffle Sour Cream and Onion, regular Cheetos, and Doritos. So, how this first test is going to work is I have this pan. And we're just going to take our regular Fritos first. We're going to empty them out onto our pan into a little pile. And then I have this fire starter that I will use to throw sparks onto our chips. And we will see which one of our brands ignites the easiest. Well, I don't think our Fritos are gonna be able to be ignited with this fire starter. So we'll move on to the Funyuns. Now we have the Funyuns. Let's see if there's any difference. Same result. These won't ignite either. I'm thinking that we're probably going to have the same result with all of them, but we will keep testing just to see. Well, as you can see, that was mostly a fail. Not a single brand of the chips was able to be ignited with the fire starter, which is kind of disappointing. I figured at least one or two of them would be able to be ignited with that fire starter. So now we're gonna move on to the second part of our test, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put the chips in a little pile on this tray, and I'm just gonna ignite them with the blowtorch, and then let them sit for probably 10, 20 seconds, and let them get kind of hot. Then I'm going to use my laser thermometer and read the temperatures of each chip and see how they differ and see which one is the hottest. All right, first up is the plain Fritos. We'll see how fast that fire grows. Looks like so far almost 500 degrees, 520.
looks like spikes of just about 800 degrees is going to be the highest that they're going to get to. And they're kind of hard to put out. So now we're going to move on to our Funyuns. And just as a side note, if you look, look right here, you can see all of the oil that drained out of the chips, that corn oil that I was talking about in the beginning of the video that most of the chips are made with. As they get hot, it kind of leaks out. And you can see how much of it leaked out right there in just that short amount of time. So that's pretty interesting. Now we're going to move on to the Funyuns, see if they can get hotter than 800 degrees. They don't act like they want to catch on fire as easily as the corn chips. Okay. Even though the flames are bigger, it doesn't seem like they're going to get as hot. Now they spiked up about 800 degrees. Oh, 850 there for a second. 900. Spikes up over 1000 there. Oh, out of range of the thermometer. So they definitely burn hotter than the corn chips. Now we're going to move on to some Cheetos, see if they can get over a thousand degrees, just like the Funyuns. But it does not look like they're going to get as hot as the Funyuns. Looks like these are going to stay under a thousand degrees. Alright, well the fire's starting to die down and the temperature's starting to drop. They peaked up about 850, so that's not too shabby for the Cheetos. And apparently they're very resilient to going out. Now we're going to move on to the Lay's Barbecue. They were getting close to a thousand, but I don't think they're quite going to make it. So they're starting to die down now. They stayed around 900, but it didn't quite beat the Funyuns. Now we are moving on to the Ruffles Sour Cream and Onion. All right, the ruffles have got up to about 700 degrees, but they are not nearly as flammable as the other ones. Yeah, they just go right out too. I'm going to assume that these probably have a little bit less oil in them than the other ones. That's why they're not as flammable, but not really a result I expected. Now we move on to the classic lays. They don't even act like they want to catch on fire. There we go. All right, the plain lays reached a thousand degrees. So far, there's only the second ones to do that. All right, our final test is going to be the Doritos. They don't act like they want to catch on fire either.
All right, well, they're, the fire's starting to die down, and they didn't even make it to, I don't even think they made it to 700 degrees. Jeez. There we go. All right, guys. Well, we learned two things in this video. One, none of the chips will ignite by a spark, which really surprises me because I figured at least two or three of them would ignite with just a spark, but it turns out none of them do. And second, chips burn a lot hotter than I thought. I figured that the chips would burn between maybe five to 700 degrees. I didn't think that they would burn between 800 and 1,000 degrees, some of them, like the Funyuns got up over 1,000 degrees. So that was really interesting. If there's anything else like this you want me to do, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.